likely to be around. He's dedicated utterly and he's incredibly talented. My God, you know, he got Freddie to a T. I think it's wonderful. We couldn't have done better. Brian May is an English guitarist, singer, composer, and astrophysicist. He achieved fame as the lead guitarist of the rock band Queen. May was a co-founder of Queen with lead singer Freddie Mercury and drummer Roger Taylor. His songwriting contributions helped Queen become one of the most successful bands in rock history. As a member of Queen, May became regarded as a virtuoso musician. He was ranked number 26 on Rolling Stone's list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time. In 2012, he was ranked as the second greatest guitarist in a Guitar World magazine readers poll. In 2001, May was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Queen, and in 2018, the band received the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. My first reaction was, it's a disaster. You know, this is really a disaster because nobody had a plan. And uh, I, I think we all, got, I don't blame the voters for voting out. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Brian Harold May, but is also known as Brian May. He was born July 19, 1947, in Hampton Hill, Middlesex, England, making him age 75 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.88 meters or 6 feet 2 inches tall. His favorite color is black. Mays used Vox AC30 amplifiers almost exclusively since a meeting with his longtime hero Rory Gallagher at a gig in London in the late 1960s, early 1970s. May's early influences included Cliff Richard and The Shadows, who he says were the most metallic thing out at the time. May has stated that The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, The Who, and Jimi Hendrix were the greatest influences on him. He enjoys the music of younger bands such as the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Foo Fighters, and Muse. May's had a lifelong interest in collecting Victorian stereo photography. He loves grapefruit. In 2014, May co-founded Asteroid Day with Apollo 9 astronaut Rusty Schweikert, B612 Foundation COO Danica Remy, and German filmmaker Grigorij Richters. Asteroid Day is a global awareness campaign where people from around the world come together to learn about asteroids and what we can do to protect our planet. In October 2007, May was appointed a visiting researcher at Imperial College and he continues his interest in astronomy and involvement with the Imperial Astrophysics Group. He is co-author with Sir Patrick Moore and Chris Lintott of BANG, The Complete History of the Universe and the Cosmic Tourist. In 2022, May was awarded an Honorary Doctor of Science Honoris Causa by Professor Brad Gibson of the E.A. Milne Center for Astrophysics at the University of Hull. Unable to attend in person, he joined the graduation ceremony via video link. In December 2021, May revealed that he'd tested positive for COVID-19. He compared his illness to the worst flu you could imagine and implored people to get vaccinated, stating that he didn't think he would have recovered as well if he hadn't received a full vaccination and booster shot. After much experimentation, he found the best guitar sound came from using an old English sixpence coin as a pet. These coins went out of circulation in the early 1970s, and in 1992, he had the Royal Mint make up some more with his likeness on them. He's very close friends with Black Sabbath guitarist Tony Iommi. From 1976 to 1988, May was married to Christine Mullen. They had three children. James, born June 15, 1978, Louisa, born May 22, 1981, and Emily Ruth, born February 18, 1987. They separated in 1988. May met actress Anita Dobson in 1986. She inspired him to write the 1989 hit, I Want It All. They married on November 18, 2000. It was rumored that May's first marriage ended due to his alleged affair with actress Anita Dobson. May worked with actress Anita Dobson on her first album, most noted for the tune Anyone Can Fall In Love. She inspired him to write the 1989 hit, I Want It All. They married in 2000. Well, so many of his own party basically are against him, and that will still be the case. If you had a vote today in the House of Commons, they would still defeat that, and, and Fox Hunting Band would stay. He was born to Ruth Irving and Harold May. Harold worked as a draughtsman at the Ministry of Aviation, 
May attended the local Hanworth Road State Primary School and at the age of 11 won a scholarship to Hampton Grammar School, then a voluntary aided school. During this time, he formed his first band, named 1984 after George Orwell's novel of the same name, with vocalist and bassist Tim Staffel. He studied mathematics and physics at Imperial College London, graduating with a BSc degree in physics in 1968 with honors. A diligent astronomy student at Imperial College working towards a PhD, Brian decided to put his academic studies on hold as Queen's popularity first exploded. In 1968, May and Tim Stoffel, along with drummer Roger Taylor, formed the band Smile. The band disbanded in two years with Stoffel's exit. He and Roger Taylor joined Freddie Mercury and John Deacon to form the famous British rock band Queen in 1970. He frequently wrote songs for the band and has also lent his vocals for many songs. In 1985, the band wrote the song One Vision together after the famous Live Aid concert. He then collaborated with Eddie Van Halen to record his first solo work, Starfleet Project, in 1983. After the death of Freddie Mercury in 1991, he dealt with the loss by devoting himself to work and completed his solo album, Back to the Light, which was released the following year. In 1992, he finally formed the Brian May Band. In 1995, May started contributing to film projects and was also working on an album of covers titled Heroes. After their announcement of touring with Paul Rogers in 2004, Brian May and Taylor reunited and the band toured with the name Queen plus Paul Rogers. The band toured the world for the next two years. In 2008, Queen plus Paul Rogers' first solo album, The Cosmos Rocks, was released. In September 2018, the group had a residency at the MGM Park Theater in Las Vegas. On March 31, 2020, Queen plus Adam Lambert confirmed their planned tour dates for the year were postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. On June 4, 2022, Queen plus Adam Lambert opened the Platinum Party at the Palace outside Buckingham Palace to mark the Platinum Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II. The right thing is a very terrible place for us to be going in the world. You know, I hate to see the racial um, stuff that's coming up in this country as well. I find it deeply upsetting. Yeah. He's made money through music. Queen is one of the best-selling bands in the world. And as a member of this band, Brian has earned millions of dollars through album sales and tours. In 1992, he earned $65,000 from the album Back to the Light. May also owns a guitar business in London named BMG, Brian May Guitars. As a solo artist, he made money through album sales and live concerts. He was a science team collaborator with NASA's New Horizons Pluto mission. Just like other band members, May's fortune has constantly swelled even after the death of lead singer Freddie Mercury in 1991. Estimates of Queen's record sales range from 170 to 300 million records. He has a net worth of $210 million. He has homes in London and Windlesham, Surrey. He currently lives in Windlesham in the Surrey Heath borough of Surrey. Despite being such a peaceful rural village, part of what makes it so appealing for home hunters is that it's approximately 25 miles southwest of central London. His mansion in Surrey features four bedrooms and a swimming pool. He likely owns the following vehicles, a Porsche 356 Speedster, an Aston Martin, a Mercedes-Benz. A Ferrari. <laughs> 